Hi, I'm Julianne from Calvary Chapel, Philadelphia. I've been coming and doing day camps here at the camp at Old Mill for the past 10 years. I started when I was in ninth grade and I just was helping out being a camp counselor and that just like really, really blessed me to just be able to love the kids and serve them. It was hard work. You have to be really diligent about um, trying to encourage them in the Lord and and you have to be, be really patient and just loving them, but it was worth it and I kept coming back and I came back every year and then after I graduated high school I came back to help as a leader counselor and just, it's a great time just like loving the kids and you get, as you do it over the years, you get to see growth and see the kids really growing up and some of them really following the Lord, so it's a great blessing. Um, I'm April. I've been serving at the camp for the last 13 years. I started again when I was in high school working as a counselor with uh, the children of the city and it really has just been like a life-changing experience for me. I've um, just grown in my relationship with the Lord. One of the things that our church does that I think is just so critical is that we meet every morning, um, we spend time doing devotions privately, spending time seeking the Lord in prayer and in His Word, um, and just preparing for the work that He has, because we need to just rely completely on His strength um, and just abide in Him so He can just give us the love for these kids. So I feel like that's like number one most critical thing that we do. Um, number two is we break into small prayer groups and we spend time praying for the kids um, together. And I feel like that's just awesome because, like, we have time and time again seen our prayers answered, and the Lord has just mm -hmm. been so faithful to just save children, to um, turn children who had hard hearts and soften their hearts, to bless the time that we spend doing the skits and to calm them while uh, we're doing worship with them and while we're sharing a message through a, through a drama. So I feel like those are just some of the things that our church has done that has been super effective. Um, we also... When we're here serving at the camp, we also meet and we do a Bible study together and spend time in the Word corporately. So I feel like all those components are really kind of critical in having a, a good camp because we can't just come here and just think that we can serve or give anything to these kids in our own strength. Uh, so I did that in high school, and that was kind of what the program looked like with Calvary Chapel. And then I also have been like coming and serving with our high school youth group after I graduated from high school. So I was working with the high schoolers and with the children in the camp. I usually help in the arts and crafts station. So our camp basically, um, I don't know, that like that's what I've done and that was kind of my role. Julie and I also both come up on Thursdays and help with. Tell uh, us about that. Oh yeah, we come up on Thursdays and we do uh, after school Bible studies with the classes. April and I taught the first grade class together and we just went through the Bible teaching them the Word of God, and it was a great time just getting to know the kids and having, like, long-term relationships with them and building that, and then when we come to camp with them in the summer, they respect us and they trust us, so we're able to direct them more. I also just did overnight camp with the camp at Old Mill at the end of June, and that was a really great time. The kids are here from Monday to Friday, 20 or hours a day, um, and that's also just a blessing just to be a part of their lives and help to encourage them, and it's great to just be able to, like, spend time with them and seriously just instruct them in the Lord and just be honest and open and if you challenge the kids they will um, respond to that if you're really seeking the Lord to guide mm -hmm. that time and seeking to be led by the Spirit and sometimes it might be awkward to start the subject but it's great to just get right in there and say do you know Jesus and what do you know about him and just to tell them about your relationship with the Lord as well yeah. and the impact on your own walk with the Lord well I just feel like I mean the time that I've spent in devotional experiences here at the camp um, in high school and just as an adult serving with the youth group has just been incredible because the Lord has spoken to me and um, he's broken my heart a lot of times um, he's worked things out in my life and he's given me direction for my future so like he's just been so faithful to meet me here personally and then just um, giving me just a heart for just the children of Coastville um, and just showing me a lot of just his love for for children who are fatherless and who are hurting. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like like that's really how the camp has impacted me. Some tough moments? Some tough moments. Um, There's like one for every day that we're here. <laughs> my first year I was here, um, I had a girl that said that she hated me and I was ugly pretty much like all the time and they just would run away from me. So that was like, I was like in ninth grade and it was really, really hard and really trying, but I like really just relied on the Lord and he just, he totally broke me down, and um, but he just cared for me and just brought me through that. And I feel like that's kind of like an experience that most of our, well, not most, but it happens pretty regularly to our kids. They get a hard kid and then um, breaks you down. 
Yeah, for me, one of the hard things is when you have relationships with the kids, they, they're just on an emotional roller coaster. So one moment they love you, and then you say no, and then they say I hate you and walk away. So it's hard to, like, follow, but just being faithful to continue loving them and asking the Lord to give you his love for them is really what makes the difference. And just bringing that to the Lord um, has been really helpful. And just sticking with them even when they are not loving you back is what they really need the most. And highlights, then? Highlights? Um, well, I had a, a student that I had served with. She was, I was the counselor and she was my camper when I was in 10th grade. And I actually came back and did overnight camp as an adult. And she was a high schooler at the time and she had worked with me as a co-counselor in mentoring some of the younger kids. And that was just an incredible blessing. Um, and just, I don't know, to see some of the kids, gr I've had children that I've seen just grow and soften and um, children, I've I've led to the Lord, so definitely it's just an incredible. Um, I just love them. Yeah, it's great when when you finally break through and you see the Lord really working in some of the kids' hearts after a long struggle. Um, mm -hmm. And just some of our um, Thursday afternoon Bible studies were really rough, and April and I would just yeah. spend time praying for the kids, and we definitely saw changes in their hearts. And then just seeing them over the summer and just seeing them still growing in the Lord is just a great blessing.